Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Adventure Warriors, to be exact. And today I'll be doing some... two things, actually. I'll be doing a Twilight Amanda gameplay. I know I normally don't do this stuff, but I only am doing it today to, um... To actually give you a look at Twilight Mendo because it none of the Twilight map actually requires her, which is weird, honestly. So I might as well do some gameplay of her. It doesn't really make any sense, but here it is, some Twilight Mendy gameplay, and a, also a big tip video on how to really level up. If you have the Master Quest map deck, then this map is for you. If you love challenge and leveling up your characters, this map can do both of that for you, because there's, the rule is no healing, and you go 10 minutes against a lot of things, like, you are non-stop swarmed by monsters, so you can also listen to your own music while, um, playing this map, and personally, I am too. I'm not even listening to the game audio, I'm listening to my own music, like, I have my iPod plugged in, I'm just listening to whatever. Whatever plays on it, it's on shuffle, I don't care. Anything that happens, happens. I mean, there is a chance you can lose this map because, um... Well, you're about to find out, because I took out two areas all closes, or fiery area all closes, Or whatever the plural would be. So first off, you got King Godongo. No big threat, right? Uh, yeah. Watch out, because the poisonous, um, artichoke is back. Yep. The Steel Artichoke, or Mandala, or however you want to say it, I don't care. Mandala. <laughs> Look at her, she's using the Force. Alright, so what I do is I separate King Dodongo from Mandala as soon as I can. That's a big thing you want to do. Falcon Punch! Uh, also, sorry if I don't sound like... <sighs> I know, I've heard my own audio, and it sounds like I don't really care no matter what I'm doing. Unless I'm laughing or something. I'm, I'm sorry for that, but that's actually my natural voice. Plus, it might be that this microphone kind of... Um, it kind of... I, I personally think it deepens my voice. However... My friends say it doesn't. It, they say that it's actually my real voice, it sounds exactly like me, etc, etc, etc. But I just don't hear it. I hear like a deeper, more masculine voice. And I'm not trying to compliment myself, it, it really sounds more masculine than I actually do. Oh, this is sad. I will not tell you why that is her um, shield breaker, is what I call it. Because that would actually be spoilers to why, and nobody say it because it's spoilers to Twilight Princess. By the way, if you guys want me to do a playthrough of that after Earthbound, go ahead and comment and say something. Because I'm here to listen, I'm not only gonna just like, do my own thing and just, you know, ignore you guys. No, you guys, like, keeping Tom, how he mentioned how I should probably get sound foam and etc. I'm taking his advice, I should probably actually get some sound foam, I'm listening to your comments. I just squashed that guy. Nope! Ugh. Oh, and the big challenge of this level is that you cannot heal. So, yeah, where your health stands, it stays. 
So that could be problematic for some. Oh no, 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 no! Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Because Mandala is not one of those people I want sticking around. It's really an annoying enemy and, you know, I just don't want to deal with the poisonous artichoke. So as you can see, there's just a whole m bundle of enemies just one after another coming after you. And that's not only... And it's not just going to be only enemies. There's also going to be... Uh, input's going to appear in a second or two. Um, Fi will be here. Or Fi, how... Fi, Fi, Fo, Fum, I don't care anymore. It's hard to pronounce names that are so simple. I don't know why. Is, is that just me? Like... Fi? Fi? What is it? You know, the blue girl... Or the blue messenger of the goddess... The living sword, the good one, not... Yurahim, or Gerahim. I'm really botching these names, and I really am up... I... I don't know why I botch names up. It's... not really... I don't know. Maybe it's because I can't talk sometimes. Like, well, it's not that I can't talk. It's just that I get lost in my tr in trains of thought. And oh no 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 no! Oh, I lost it. And Impa just appeared, so that's fantastic. Once again, just crushed that guy. Um. Oh, I should probably hit the X button. Oh yeah, they're doing the skin swap glitch. When you hit the X button, then it creates that little ring of darkness, as a, I guess I'll call it for now, because I can't remember the actual name. And it just like bursts on the enemy, it just like creates a field of destruction, and it's great for crowd control, which is what I would recommend Twilight Menda for, crowd control. Like that, see? I was surrounded by a whole bunch of enemies, and then just, boom, just clear them out, clean them out. And there you go, Impa's dead. And Fi has appeared. I'm gonna say Fi from now on. Unless... Unless I take that back accidentally, like I did with Rapier. I didn't... I didn't Google Translate it yet, or get someone to voice it out for me. I should. Oh! Oh. Oh, I just noticed that! She still has the shackle! The Twilight Shackle, it's on her, um, it's on her neck, I just noticed that. Well, it's not on her neck, it's just tied on her hair. That's kind of sitting on her neck. We'll see in a, in a second. I think. Yeah, see, did you catch it for the moment there? Still there. I just saw that. That's pretty good attention to detail. Oh yeah, fi um, not Fi, um... Twilight Minda is actually really good at, like, knocking out those annoying Aerialfos because she has the Mirror of Shadows? Is that the only one who saw that sparkle? Uh, combos. She can do that. She can summon the cannon from Twilight Furnace, which is actually really cool. And really broken. Yeah, did you see it? There was the cursed shackle. Um, she can also summon a soul. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Oh, she uses a bridge too. I keep forgetting that one. When she just slams her hand, you can summon a giant wolf run. After that, there isn't anything else that. That is just an automatic combo. And it's over. But did you see that? You can get lots of materials, lots of um, experience, especially if you have an experience plus weapon. Um, that's a great way to kill time. If you got 10 minutes to spend, then why not do, do this? Just 
I mean, it'll take time to get you here. I won't lie. Sorry, I just paused for um, Twilight Mendes outro. Because, you know, it hasn't been shown yet to on my channel. Uh, B rank. Also, it's a great way to get high level weaponry. I should admit that too. It's really a great way. But um, this is the Master Quest map, so you would have to go from either. Starting from here, you'd probably have to fight your way through, get over here, or just go any way you want. But it's this square right here that Twilight Mendes stands on. And so, if you really need experience, money, etc., well, there it is for you. As for me, that's all I needed. Or wanted to show for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. I thank you for your time. Stay psycho, everyone.